So this is something that I did not think I was going to be doing. I have had no desire to do it, did not expect to do this, but here I am doing it. I am going to embark on a sardine challenge and I am going to have a goal to make it 72 hours like Dr. Boz recommends. Dr. Boz is the one behind this challenge and she swears that it's incredible for you and it's one of the best ways to increase your ketones. It's super popular in the keto carnivore world right now and beyond just extended fasting, apparently it's just the way to get your ketone numbers up. So why did I decide to do this if I never wanted to and never expected to? The reason is because I got my hands on something and I just have to try it. So this is a CKM, a continuous ketone monitor. These are brand new to the market. This is by a company called Cybio. I got a sample of their CKM at KetoCon and I wore it for about 10 days and got some really interesting information. And I had planned on doing a sardine challenge at that point just to see, just to see if it really would bump my ketone numbers up, but it accidentally popped off before the whole 14 days was up, so I didn't get a chance to do it. And Cybio contacted me and very graciously offered to send me another CKM. So I have a brand new one here, so I have a full 14 days that I can do experiments, and they also included a patch this time to go over it, so I should not have the same problem with it coming off early. So I am going to apply this first thing, and then I am going to embark on my sardine challenge. I will link Dr. Boz's video um, up in the cards where she talks about the details and the rules of the sardine challenge. She says that the sardine challenge is 72 hours from the time you first eat your first tin of sardines to the time you eat your last tin of sardines. So I am going to start the clock here in a minute after I have my first meal. As far as things beyond sardines that I am allowing in this challenge, I have decided to allow myself black coffee with MCT oil powder. I have been uh, using MCT oil powder in my coffee and I really enjoy it and I feel like adding MCTs just would help boost the effects of, you know, the ketone effects of the sardines. So I'm fine with that. I'm also planning to include things like lemon juice or apple cider vinegar or some seasonings. Beyond that, I'm going to try to keep it you know, very minimal, just enough seasonings to make the sardines really palatable. Also, I will be including olive oil because the sardines I happen to have on hand are um, with 100% olive oil. These were in my apocalypse food pantry and they've been sitting there for a while and I want to use them up. So this is what I'm going to be starting with. These are from Costco. And Dr. Boss has said she doesn't have any issue with olive oil packed sardines. Uh, these ones are skinless and boneless and I would like to go to the store and pick some up that do have skin and bones because obviously there's a lot of good nutrition in the skin like the omega-3s and then the bones have lots of calcium. So they're really good for you, um, but I'm going to use up my five boxes of olive oil packed sardines first, and then I will be heading to the store and um, picking up some different options. There is variety in sardines, so I'm going to be, you know, a sardine connoisseur by the end of this. I'm going to try all these different ones. Another rule about the sardine challenge from Dr. Boz that I really, really like is that there is no limit on food and there's no time frame, there's no eating window. I have a really hard time with fasting and I do a lot better when I am able to eat when I am hungry. So according to Dr. Boz, it doesn't matter day or night if you are legitimately hungry and you want to eat sardines, which is a really good way to know if you're hungry <laughs> or not, or if you're just craving something, you can have sardines at any time of the day. One other thing I forgot to mention that I'm going to be allowing myself is my Element electrolytes. So like I said, I had a CKM on a month or so ago for about 10 days and I feel like that gave me a really good idea about what my baseline is for ketones. Just on my regular low carb diet, um, I have an idea of where my ketones lie. And so when I start the sardine challenge or fast or whatever you want to call it, um, if I see, you know, an increase, I'll, it'll be really easy to see the effect of the sardines themselves. So what I found when I had my CKM on before is that my ketones run about 0.5 and below all the time. They ended up really flatlining overnight, so like a 0.0, .0 to a 0 0.2 overnight most nights, and then during the day it would get up to 
0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and a couple times for a really short period, they got all the way to 0 0.6. So on my own, I was only ever able to get to 0 0.6. I even did a 23 hour fast and didn't get above a 0 0.5 in my 23 hour fast. The only time that I saw my ketones rise above that 0 0.6 was when I tried some exogenous ketones as a test. The uh, ketone HVMN um, Keto IQ shot, that got my ketones up above one, but I don't count that as my body producing ketones because they were exogenous. On my own, I was only ever able to get up to that 0.6 mark. So I will be really, really interested to see if the sardines are able to push it up higher than that. And that would really prove to me that the sardines themselves are doing something special because even doing a 23 hour fast didn't get my ketones above 0.5. All right, I am going to go ahead and apply this. If you've ever applied a CGM, it's pretty much the same thing. Very, very simple, very, very painless. I will show you exactly how I do it. Here is what is in the box. This is the CKM itself. This is the applicator. Then they give you an alcohol swab to clean the area and the quick start guide. So I already um, downloaded the app on my phone. Gonna do on the back of my upper arm here. Then we're gonna peel the lid off of the sensor pack and we're gonna remove the cover from the applicator. There we go. Press the sensor applicator firmly down on the pack until it comes to a stop, okay? There we go, came to a stop. Lift the sensor applicator out of the sensor pack and there there it is, just like a CGM. The little needle looks intimidating, but once you take off the uh, sensor, you'll, you can play with it and you can see it's really flimsy. It's not like a, a thick, stiff needle going into your arm. Next, I have to pull the safety clip out. All right, I'm gonna put it right here. All you have to do is press this button right here. That's it. There it is. Oh. It goes around it. Well, that's interesting. All right, put it on like that, and then take the take the number two off, and the other number two off, and then the number three off. Okay, and so it kind of, the it doesn't cover the, the sensor itself, it just covers like the little edge around it. So hopefully I'll have better luck than last time. <laughs> Look, it's a little guy that is hilarious. Okay, now I have to pair the uh, sensor with my app. We're going to click to pair and we're gonna scan the code. It's not really working very well, so I am going to int, um, enter the pairing code manually. Oh, looks like it's maybe connected. Okay, there we go. The sensor is warming up. Please wait 60 minutes, and then we will start seeing some ketone numbers. All right, now I can just monitor everything. So I did also want to mention that I have my for a care uh, blood ketone monitor. Um, and so I can double check the CKM to that because I think the blood monitors are considered the most accurate. Um, continuous monitors are amazing and they give you like incredible moving pictures of what your blood sugar and your blood ketones do throughout the day. But checking it against a an actual blood monitor with strips is um, like the best way to make sure that it's accurate. So I have that if I need it and I am getting hungry for my first meal of the day. So I am going to open up, I'm gonna open up a can, open up a can of sardines. And apparently um, each can drained, I will not be drinking the olive oil like other people do, <laughs> Lindsay. Um, but I will be eating the sardines out of here and um, serving size is one container drained um, and there's only 200 calories per container drained. So um, I don't know how many I'll need to eat to be full, but 
I mean, five boxes is only, or five cans is only a thousand calories. I can't imagine eating like seven or 10 boxes of sardines in a day. So we will just see how this goes. All right, meal number one. The kids are dying a thousand deaths watching me eat this. <laughs> Although Bubba says it doesn't sound too bad. And Izzy. The sardines really aren't that bad. They just taste like tuna. And with the olive oil, it's like tuna with a little bit of dressing on it or something. I know it's gonna get really old. They're gonna get really old after a while. <laughs> but it'll be a good exercise in, you know, really making sure I'm hungry, not just craving. Picking up some lemons so I can squeeze some lemon juice on my sardines and let's check out what they have available here. Let's see, oh, skinless, boneless. Skinless, boneless. All right, I got. I gotta look at all these. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to try some smoked sardines, and this doesn't say boneless, skinless, so I'm assuming it's not. Um, so we'll see about that. So I did not realize how expensive this challenge was gonna be. <laughs> these are 4.29 a box, and that's only 170 calories. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to go to Costco and get another pack there because this is spendy. These ones are on sale, so maybe I'll need to grab some of these. Maybe I'll get a couple of the olive oil ones. It's three fifty a piece, and a couple of the spring water ones. Let's see how that goes. Gonna have to try this one too. Wild sardines in Spanish olive oil. So I have a couple in spring water. I have a couple smoked. Maybe I'll get one more of these in olive oil. Well, then these ones just apparently are lightly smoked with lemon. So maybe I'll grab a couple of those too. I think the ingredients are fine. Lemon, sea salt, natural smoke. All right, there we go. That's what I'm gonna get. And then maybe I'll go to Costco at some point and get more for a little bit cheaper. It is about 7 p.m. now, and thus far I have had two tins of sardines. I had that first one that I showed you this morning around 9.30, and then I had a second one while we were out running errands um, before we went into the library. I ate my sardines that I brought with me. That was about 2 p.m., I think. And, like, I want to eat, although I'm not, like, having crazy cravings or anything. It's pretty manageable, but sardines do not sound good, but I know that I am hungry. I'm legitimately hungry, even though I don't really feel like eating sardines. But being that it's 7 p.m. now and um, I am feeling like I am legitimately hungry, I'm going to try to eat two tins of sardines. I'm going to attempt it um, because I would prefer not to eat right before bed. I would like to be full enough that I can go to bed without feeling hungry. Um, I would eat, you know, another can of sardines if I were hungry before bed, but I just kind of want to avoid it. So I'm going to see if I can eat two cans. I chose the um, smoked. I want to try the lightly smoked in extra virgin olive oil sardines, as well as the uh, wild sardines in Spanish olive oil. So I'm going to open up these and uh, show you what they look like. These are the smoked. There we go. All right, skin on, and yes, I see some bones in there, and you can eat sardines with the bones. It's not a concern. They're so small, and when they get cooked, they um, are easier to eat. It's not like eating a fish bone like you would in a salmon or something. All right, let me show you. So that's what they look like, so you can see those little bones sticking out. I actually, I've had sardines with bones before. I actually kind of enjoy the crunch of the bones, which is sounds weird to say. So there is something a little bit good about it. So these again are like bigger sardines, like the ones that I had uh, before that I showed you. There are also bristling sardines and those are a lot smaller. Um, Anita ketogenic woman has shown them on her sardine videos. And if you want to embark on a sardine challenge, go watch her videos about it. She has so much good information about the sardine challenge as well as recipes. If you want to get creative and 
do some fun recipes. Anyways, she talked about bristling sardines that are smaller. I did not see those at the store I went to, but I will keep my eyes open for those because I would like to try some of the smaller ones. Uh, we'll see if I can find them. Let me show you these. I don't want to cut my finger open. Oh, here come the cats. Oh, those look different. These ones have like white skin. Oh, come on. This can is much more difficult to open, even though it looks the same as the other one. There we go. Okay, so these are the ones in Spanish olive oil, and these are the smoked. They just look like differ a different kind of sardine, which is kind of interesting. Of course, these are going to be darker because they're smoked, but I think the skin was darker originally as well. All right, so in this, uh, the Spanish one, 200 calories for one serving, three ounces drained. So... I am not, again, I'm not going to have the olive oil, except for what comes on the fish. And then the other box is 170 calories for one serving. Um, it doesn't say drained, but I'm going to assume it's drained also. Bon appetit! I'm having a hard time getting through all of this. Um, I thought I would like the smoked ones really well, but I don't really care for them. They're very, very oily. You can see there's a lot of oil in there compared to even this one and the ones I had earlier. They just taste like so much oil and uh, it's hard to eat. These ones were a lot better, but I'm still having a hard time getting through all of this. Uh, I think I'm going to try to force myself to eat this last one here and then save these for another time. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. I did it, but I didn't enjoy it. So I'm pretty certain that's going to be all I eat for today. I'm going to be sipping on my seltzer water. I forgot to mention that's another thing I'm allowing myself during the sardine fast. I think that's probably fine. Um, if I do end up eating something else, I will definitely tag it here at the end, but... Um, Besides that, I am going to call it a night. I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to vlog this whole three-day challenge so uh, you can follow along almost in real time. Please let me know if you have done the sardine challenge and tell me that it was worth it and that it changed your life and <laughs> that it it was the thing. Uh, I really hope that this is worth it because it is not very pleasant. I am very thankful that I'm not hungry. Like, it would be way worse if I was super, super hungry, but uh, not hungry at all. So there's that. I will be back tomorrow with day two, and I will be sharing what my ketones did for day number one. I was actually really, really shocked.